welcome to the Slovo podcast. My name is Ubersoy, your usual and the only host. I know I've, I've not been posting for a very long time, but uh, today something very special has happened. A YouTuber by the name of Just The Facts, uh, who I believe had about 24,000 subscribers, as I perceived it for one moment, for no reason had uh, been removed from YouTube, Patreon, Discord, and stuff like that. I was very shocked by that, but then I decided to ask why? <laughs> why did that happen? And apparently um, he was involved in the Discord moderation uh, practices. Uh, you probably know what Discord moderation is, but if you don't know, uh, hopefully you will uh, throughout this short interview with the person uh, who actually exposed him and essentially made him uh, rage quit YouTube, thereby ruining his career. His name is uh, Lunatic Cultist. Welcome to the show. Hi, Ubersoy. Um, before all of this, I actually have uh, seen some of your your older videos, mm -hmm. but uh, I've kind of been off uh, the internet for a while now but uh yeah so i'm actually really thanks kind of excited to be on thanks uh yeah um i, I didn't know that <laughs> but uh it it's a small world um in one of my videos i have actually advertised just the facts i thought that he's a good right winger who isn't as open about his right wing beliefs but you know he nonetheless pushes them subversively and i recommended him uh, you know, but now, um, after what he's done, I'm kind of, uh, like, ashamed almost. Anyways, um, so here's my question to you. How did you even find about uh, Just The Facts? And um, apparently, you were his top Patreon subscriber. Uh, could you tell us a few words about that? Um, I got into JTF after a few of his... Um Karl Marx videos. Mm -hmm. I uh, I recently discovered a bread tube was a thing during that day. So, you know, I was kind of, I was trying to you know, investigate, see what was uh, what was going on with this, you know, community, and and I eventually found out about um, their obsession with like Marxism. Yeah. You know, and uh, socialism, mm -hmm. and a lot of other like left wing ideas. So I kind of. I was just browsing for videos that could help explain the subject better when I ran into JTF's uh, multi-video series uh -huh. on yeah. Marx. Yeah, and uh, they weren't bad, I should say. No, they they weren't. Yeah. Uh, but um, it was it was those videos and the uh, Afghanistan mm -hmm. withdrawal. Yeah, that, that got was me a enamored big one. with his community. Yeah. yeah, that was that was one of his uh, bigger ones. Uh, yes, um, and his also his style of content is rather good. Also, like he makes some sort of comics uh, style things where he got like a soy jack talking, and then he got like a a giga chat as himself uh, talking and owning the soy jack, which which I find to be um, very original, and uh, he has greatly exploited that niche. Um, do you find anything suspicious uh, about him or his behavior before you kind of knew about this stuff uh, that, that were going on? Well, you know, there was um, there was always like rumors, of course, to, mm -hmm. you know, his um, discord moderation. He he always kind of had like um, an excuse for it. Mm -hmm. and i was never i'm and i'm still i'm not big into like e-drama yeah but I, I but i guess now you know i'm kind of like in the fore center of it yeah you are but, <laughs> yeah yeah yes, uh, so, that's why you're on the show <laughs> by the way <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. but like uh yeah so i never really paid attention i never really cared mm -hmm. i was i was really in the server for uh the friends i made and i kind of sticked with them yeah mostly it was a good community uh, i heard they played hearts of iron 4 yeah it was it was a it was a good community until um 
you know, what, 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 and this is something that every kind of noticed is he began to have like almost a um, psychosis uh -huh. of just thinking that everyone was like out to get him, that he was, that hmm. everyone had like an alt. Everyone was an alt account, everyone was a bot, everyone was trying to like bring him down. For what? And, uh, you know, like, really, there was no reason to it, really. Um, he he was just kind of paranoid, and I think, in hindsight now, I think it was because he was worried someone would have caught him. Yeah. Or someone like secretly knew, and this was just him trying to secure, you know, his uh his like place, like trying to make sure that this could mm -hmm. never happen. Mm -hmm. So he was very paranoid about his surroundings and. Uh... I've also heard from another guy that uh, he would ban people who uh, who criticized him and he was very authoritarian in his server. Moreover than that, um, when I was in his server, I remember it had like a role, um, just the facts called or something like that. Uh, the crest. <laughs> yeah, the crest yeah. yeah. So like people had like a discord role of uh, of being like a cult follower of, of his i found it you know, rather weird yeah yeah you are um i mean to me mm -hmm. i i I, uh, I do remember you mentioned something about the patreon right yeah a lot of a lot of that was like the patreon mm -hmm. um me uh people when people say i was at the highest paying patreon what what really happened was um mm -hmm. in uh the earliest times of jtf mm -hmm. i would give him like one-time donations yeah and these donations would be like a day and i would cancel them so these so these would just be like you know ten dollar pay twenty dollar payments because at the time i really did think that this was a guy doing good work you know making uh easily digestible yeah. like videos on geopolitics and uh yeah. philosophy and like you know very layman philosophy which I actually admired. Yeah, I but also it, but promoted it, it, him myself. Uh, in the yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and after a while, though, you know, I started to become more uh, disenfranchised, really, with like how he was running the server and the way he mm -hmm. was treating people and who he was letting to stay in his community. Especially, it was really kind of just the people who who just wanted to like have a good laugh you know so maybe they would banter with him mm -hmm. and over that straight to the you know, straight to the band you know off to the splinter group that'll mm -hmm. take him in so and... who were the people that he uh, were hanging out all the time oh jtf yeah really it was just his um his own like you know Jannies, like his own staff oh. for his server. Yeah. Um, uh, very Stalin like. <laughs> yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. Even yeah. it's even funny, there's even a case where uh he got rid of one of them mm -hmm. and punished one of them for actually uh disobeying him. Because they what, helped me uh, to evade a uh, no, he uh the moderator had helped me to evade a uh, seven day uh mute oh. over over a slight joke I made. Oh my god, yeah, well, so, uh, yeah. on my telegram, I, I let uh, users usually run wild, and then people are complaining why I don't ban these people, uh, so, um, and maybe I should take notes, actually, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, so, and then he would ban people uh, that that were criticizing him so would you say like he had the big ego then yeah i, mm -hmm. I you know i would say that um especially it especially came from his uh cult thing yes i don't yes. know i don't know what it was i don't know if it was a ego or if it was like a, a power fantasy that mm -hmm. he liked to uphold you know yeah 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 but uh yeah the way he acted uh and considering the way he looks and the way he is acting now, uh, yeah, he, he definitely had like a, some like delusions of grandeur. Fifty Shades of Grey, but uh, creepier and more incel-like. <laughs> uh, 
Um, <laughs> yeah. So let's go. Let's go to the meat of this whole thing. Uh, how did you start suspecting and finding out about his uh, uh, secret fetish uh, by the name of P word, which we're not allowed to uh, say on on this podcast, unfortunately. You know, this is really the the crazy part. This one is like a roller coaster, mm-hmm. really. It it started when um the so everyone everyone kind of thought that there was something going on between mm-hmm. um him and uh and the uh, other user that uh, you see the messages yeah being yeah. made out to but no one knew that it was like ERP no one knew that this was like you know uh like you know actually fetishes. happening yeah yeah, like no one knew. There was jokes. There was definitely jokes, mm-hmm. and there was definitely like rumors, but there was never proof. And but but that really changed when the the person that the person that was actually involved in the other side of it with JTF, mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. actually contacted me, mm-hmm. and they showed me and they told me everything. They even mm-hmm. gave me the screenshots and the DMs yeah, of the yeah. role playing. Yeah, they described... which uh, you can see, by the way, on my Telegram chat. Uh, it's not a YouTube matter. Um, yeah. yeah, why do you think uh, she decided to come forward uh, with, with these uh, evidence? Really, I think it's because they were just like done with it. Mm-hmm. I think I think at some point they um, they they kind of just realized the, the the grand scheme of it because uh, to be honest with you JTF he really was like manipulative to the people that uh, that like thought that he was their friend mm-hmm. and uh, especially like to people that you know was close to him he he was. He, he manipulated a lot of people into like trusting him and doing things for him that in the hindsight you know it comes down to he was just using them yeah what kind of things uh, were they doing for him uh there was there was a I mean there was obviously the cases of like you know he would he would send his staff or his like trusted members to go like buy for him of like other servers mm-hmm. actually when when this um when sh- when she told me everything she actually had left the JTF server and started her own server where mm-hmm. uh, I was a part of and all the people who were banned were a part of right mm-hmm. wow uh, he he, uh, he then got he a then lot of sent... enemies mm-hmm. yeah he he did um but he he then sent a actual spy like uh to go and watch her Mm-hmm. and then to invite him just so he could lurk and make sure that uh he could still have an eye on the um girl that he was ERPing with very controlling behavior uh which we see not only from uh his sexual fantasies but also from his actual behavior and how he treats people who are close to him doesn't look good uh but did you even believe uh, her uh, at first, or did you have like uh, uh, maybe did did you think that uh, she's making drama or uh, how how did uh, was she convincing? You know, to be honest, mm-hmm. when when she sent those screenshots and then she was talking about it, I I did have like a moment of doubt yeah where i i couldn't i couldn't believe it like i needed to have my own proof i needed to have you know like straight from the horse's mouth you know what yes. i mean yes and then you went to him and he confessed to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my no God. or not yeah. not even mm-hmm. confessed so yeah. uh-huh. i kind of had to play it up i okay. i went to him using his his real name okay and his real face yeah. And I kind of pretended like uh, me and Haley, we actually had to pretend. Um, mm-hmm. We, we kind of played a character where I had to act like I actually hacked into her phone. 
Mm -hmm. I like broke I broke into her Discord account mm -hmm. and I found everything. And he mm -hmm. and he believed it all, even sending even sending her like a quick message saying delete everything now in all caps. Like del change your password, change your messages yeah. and he sent this all in all caps. Um hmm. you know, at the time I couldn't stop laughing. You know, and, <laughs> and to her it was just it, to her it was a joke too cuz yeah. how fucking ridiculous it was. Yeah. But well, it, that was uh, like 150 IQ move on your part. Yeah, thank you. Oh. <laughs> I I I'd, I'd probably not even come up with this. <laughs> then, yeah, but but go on, go on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um pretty much I I I tried to like accuse him. I tried to pretend like I knew more than I really did. And mm -hmm. that kind of let that kind of led to him trying to justify the things that I was accusing him of and then him mm -hmm. essentially just revealing with other context as he tried to justify his actions. Mm -hmm. He 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 made a lot of claims about how you know he made her better, how he made her sober, how he uh, like you know she needed him to stay like yeah. mentally and physically healthy. To call healthy. her a uh, c-word dump uh, and other things. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And I mean like that was those were his fantasies. So as to uh so like if those were his fantasies, I was like trying to think what what his long his long game is. Actually, I see the most widespread picture in all of this is the mm -hmm. one where he he tries to ask me a question, right? Mm -hmm. He says, he says like just one more question then. Yeah. This the context for this is actually I, I made a kind of false deal with him, mm -hmm. but to him, which was a very real deal, that okay. I wouldn't spread the screenshots, I wouldn't spread anything, I'd keep it between me and him, if he just uh, like left her alone, uh -huh. and left like everyone else that he was talking to alone, and it was during these uh, two days of him, me and him having this like stalemate. Mm -hmm. that he really got kind of chatty like he just could not stop dming me mm -hmm. and you know today i was actually doing a math test yeah. where he he dm'd me the answer where he he pretty much confirmed to me that this was never going to be just an online thing mm. he, he was talking about waiting for years to uh, talk to talk yeah. to this girl again yeah, and uh, yeah. doing a honeymoon with her, and uh, uh, oh no, those those were all the uh, role playing. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay. Those were all just like the fantasies. Yeah. The uh, the sea dump, the honeymoon. That would those were yeah. all the. Um, th fantasies. Don't you think? I mean, I don't know. Isn't that a little bit weird? Like, I'm not into like BDSM thing and all this stuff but hey, hey, ju yeah, like yeah like looking from an outside perspective i mean this looks so degrading um hey like don't 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 look at me you know like yeah i was not just as to dumbfounded you, to, with the two, yeah you know? do you think people who have these sorts of fantasies uh, um are they like that in real life and like should we even you know, tolerate oh. these fantasies i mean they look to me uh so bizarre you know, and extreme yeah you know you know t to me i have i've always said this to whoever asks and i'll always say it and i'll say it again i think when people will do these fantasies that like these aren't just like fantasies yeah like this this is like their way of alleviating like you know pressure mm -hmm. like to to want to enact these yeah cuz i don't think I don't think it's ever a fantasy mm -hmm. when it's just digging in your subconscious, like yes. all day. Yes, yes. Uh, of course, the, uh, he wants to live out this this fantasy, and I think yeah. uh, I mean I hate to sound Freudian, uh, but I think that people's sexuality has an effect on their uh, personal life. I, I think uh, per and vice versa, uh, how a person behaves in personal life, that's how he. Uh, is likely to behave in the sexual life as well. Um, do you agree mm -hmm. with that, or um, what do you have you to know, say about it? 
You know, actually, in this case, I I don't think it would apply. Mm -hmm. From what I've from what I've gathered from just talking to him and just interacting with him, I bet even you got this hint from your guys' uh, debate a while back. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's he's really a coward. Mm. He, I think I think he did all these uh, role plays to feel like um to feel like stronger. Or mm -hmm. feel more powerful, you know. I think like. I think a lot of people who even do this in the first place or have these fantasies, they it comes yeah. from a place to weakness. You know what I mean? Yes, I mean I think so. That what I was talking about. Probably a real child wouldn't have to uh, prove these things and you know treat women as if they're a disposable uh, sensor that can say that on stream. Um, so. <laughs> I think uh, a real Chad would uh, probably treat his women fairly. Probably will be a uh, dominant in the bedroom, but you know, he wouldn't degrade uh, them. But yeah, uh, I think uh, degrading people both sexually and you know just in the conversation uh, and you know uh, wanting to humiliate somebody. Uh, I think it comes from a from a place of insecurity. It comes from a place of uh, trying to come on top of them by uh, basically diminishing them and increasing one's own, I guess, power projection, perceived power projection to make themselves feel like they're very uh, special. So, I don't know. Yeah. I never liked this behavior, and I'm glad that uh, you feel the same way about it. Yeah, uh, no, mm -hmm. to me, this is, to me, it was always just like, um, I, I viewed it as him just like I I my worst fear right mm -hmm. was finding um, something I didn't want to in those DMs mm -hmm. my like that was my worst fear like if, yeah. if it ever got to like actual pictures I mean he sent a picture to of his face okay but him but him sending a picture of like you know He's, something uh, real yeah like, um you know, well we that's... won't name it <laughs> body part yeah. yeah so it wasn't as bad then uh, he that's For, uh, thankfully yeah not, thankfully it's I not think, as bad yeah i think i mean it is pretty bad it's uh <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, but it could have been worse could have been worse uh not yeah, defending no. him <laughs> of course my my, my um, um my my logic uh actually from what i could i i got the hint that he was building up to something and i think that's what he was trying to build up to yeah personally. he was uh, probably building up uh, a sense of trust and uh, mm -hmm. you know so that his prey would uh, grow accustomed to his uh, behavior a uh, problem i mean there's been speculation that he has a micro penis maybe that's why he hasn't sent a dick <laughs> pic or maybe it was too incriminating uh, so <laughs> we're not entirely sure but uh thankfully he hasn't said it, sent it um so one also one last question about uh you know the, the woman in uh, in question i've uh, there, there is a rumor I actually tweeted it and then I deleted this tweet because I wasn't sure um, and, and it's that uh, apparently uh, she is a lesbian uh, who has two mothers both of whom are Jewish and uh, she was born through like IVF fertilization something like that is that true? honestly I I actually have like no clue about okay. <laughs> where these rumors came from. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. It sounds super weird. That's why I deleted it. So, uh, I guess um, that's not true. From from what I think this uh, talk came from uh -huh. is that there was a lot of I don't know. I I get would people understand if I say like a kind of like a hollow, like a hollow, oh, like a hollow like, uh, echo, right? Uh, <laughs> hello, broken hello, phone. Uh, broken phone. Cost. Ha, what? <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, um. It was like a, uh -huh. a nineteen a nineteen forties. Uh, yeah. Humanitarian crisis. No, I know what it. What plane. does it? Yeah. 
oh, Light oh, of, yes. oh, wait, 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 whoa, that's, yeah. well, that's something interesting, that's very interesting. Well, I actually be, you know, want yeah, to know pretend. more about it. So, who was he pretending as? Uh, you could probably guess, you know, he was pretending to be like this, uh, like the burly German. Oh, with, and, uh, and she like was a uh, Jewish it, girl, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, that that's really something. Um, uh, that was to me that was the most disgusting part. I that agree. Was the thing that I read that kind of drove me well, to the edge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It's>, uh... <laughs> sorry, sorry I, for I dropping the bombshell. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. You yeah. you just uh, in, invited me in in uh, open broadcast uh, broadcast almost, although it's recorded, but. Uh, yeah and why like why would he even do that like what's the point of this yeah like i mean i I've, I've had my theories uh-huh i've you know i've i've said them i've stated them uh you know but because of how how, how coward is like how much of a coward he is mm-hmm. and the fact that he pretty much just like ran off the internet like with a tail behind his legs yeah. you know <sighs> i I don't think we'll ever get a real answer to these questions, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, that's the thing that's the point I mean, the most. If something like that ever happened to Vosh, he would literally brush it aside and like yeah. he would even make a joke about it. Uh, you know, so oh there is like five accusations about, you know, me molesting like of I don't know, four young boys well. I don't care. Uh, the 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 people who are saying these are Nazis or whatever. Or, you know, he he just won't address it. Uh, but um, yeah, but uh, app, but like uh, laps need a uh, child labor though, right, guys? Yeah, you, you seen that? Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, he's uh, clipped else. with vegan gains, right? Uh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, you know, what I'm talking about. He tried to excuse. Or he was trying to equate child pornography or like uh like child abuse in that manner to like uh, child to for- slave labor yeah, uh, uh, yeah to yeah. like forced production or, or mining yeah. of computer materials in some african country yeah uh, but do- don't you think that like uh comparing him to wash let's say don't you think like he's a bigger person for at least you know after he has been exposed as a groomer, as an open P-word, he has uh, basically cleaned himself off the internet. While Vash, he still remains. You know, I really think it's a thing about how brash JTF was. I mean, mm-hmm. say what you want about you know Vash, but he's he's quite clever in the way that he handles uh, accusations and you know and like totally points Agree. against him you know he he just acts with he acts with like a smug yeah you know persona and he deflects criticism mm-hmm. and valid points against him as things that are easier to dismantle i mean he's a he's a good uh, arguer i'll say that totally i have to give him credit and i totally agree with you although i hate him so much it's unreal i want him gone from like every single platform like no joke anyways um yeah, him and bread tube yeah need to be well i mean out, i would yeah. keep uh contra points uh, I, I like her content but uh, like not uh, don't get me started well uh, yeah well, my disagree. whatever um anyways uh so um what what did i want to ask uh yeah were you like how heartbroken were were you uh, about this behavior or you you just like you got disappointed uh, by him like a long time ago so you didn't care you know i'm gonna to be honest i my the emotions that i felt during this whole thing it was never a place of disappointment or Mm -hmm. Or like pity for him if anything it was disappointment or sorrow that how like I could not have seen this sooner you yeah know? like how could I have given money to this guy like how could I have ever you know been a part of this guy's community and mm-hmm. really my emotions of all of this really just manifested in anger 
mm -hmm. and just a drive to try to get this guy to never get the ability to do this again no matter yeah. what uh, no never again <laughs> um yeah never again exactly so why would you then say uh, to his community who didn't know about this and probably will find out about this when they will be watching this video in particular who have never been to his discord and who wake up tomorrow or the other day and will just see that his channel is gone um, what what would you say to them you know to be honest with you um mm -hmm. <laughs> i don't i don't i don't blame you because you're not on the server yeah you don't have like a well i've been there for like a few server. weeks and then i was banned for like i don't even know uh, why uh, <laughs> i didn't even talk there <laughs> um yeah yeah, yeah but mm -hmm. but the the what what actually happened um i leaked it to the server mm -hmm. and i leaked I, I was i'm actually the leaker everything that you see now actually has touched my foot has come from my phone yes, or computer yes. thanks for that by the way yeah my, my pleasure but um it's been like anarchy uh mm -hmm. <laughs> literally everyone uh the the first few minutes of the leak yeah the he you know he turned tail he he ran but the server was in like complete chaos and then it eventually was deleted by the like you know the admins what was there on, on the server what when this happened when he ran away like what uh, were people talking about people were really just what they the, like... the the screenshots the mm -hmm. dms and they just kind of they they were just angry to be honest yeah like and i don't blame them yeah, and uh, I guess your message uh, to the people who have never been on his server and who will wake up uh, without just the facts being around is that, well, watch this video and then uh, you'll understand why. Uh, is that the message? Yeah, I mean, just to kind of like end this on a maybe like hopeful note, Mm -hmm. this this isn't a thing I think this isn't something I think is very common with with like a right wingers hopefully hopefully I like, I like to yeah hopefully uh, I doubt it it really is because I like I like to think that JTF really ne never really was like a right winger mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. everything that he said he said it to kind of push an agenda and really what he wanted to do was just get was just get popular mm -hmm. so he would he he really tried to ban like just ban wagon with anything that he could and he saw a convenience with you know uh, online like right wing groups mm -hmm. uh if you ever if you ever if this is like something that i think should be known is that uh like you know you have to stay like vigilant with like these kind of things like mm -hmm. you can't get kind of you can't just like trust that you know your favorite youtuber won't be the one or like yeah. you know your like niche internet group won't be the one yeah i mean i'm not really sure how prevalent this particular behavior is on the right the grooming i don't think it's as prevalent as it is on the left but i mean there is a lot of psycho uh, psychopathic and narcissistic uh, behavior on the right i even made a video about it and lauren southern also exposed it um do you think like uh, it's a problem uh big enough that we should talk about it on this community or uh, do you think it's a minor thing um you know i think i think it's like a minor thing mm -hmm. but the times it does happen it just goes crazy yeah. and you know it just stays in people's minds you know like okay forever you know okay so all right uh let, let's do a, i guess a final question before we close uh, close up um so you basically and that uh, his entire career in a matter of like a few minutes, he had a 24,000 
uh, subscriber channel that he was building i'm not sure how much money he was getting on patreon maybe you'll enlighten me but he was building all of this fame uh youtube discord patreon how, how much users uh, did he got on discord by the way i'm sorry uh you just broke up a bit can you repeat uh, it yeah how many users uh, did he get on page uh, oh, sorry on subscribe star uh, oh what on uh, discord uh 900 <laughs> How many was it? How much? Oh, it was. Oh my gosh! Uh, if I had to say, maybe like a, th like a thousand and a half. Yeah. Maybe. Whoa, you whoa. Know? Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. My my Discord group was seven hundred uh, before it got banned. Uh, now I have to. Oh, unbrand, sorry about that. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, it's uh, the the same uh, Discord moderators uh, uh, that. Uh, spiritually just the facts was a part of a uh, got rid of my stuff but you know whatever i don't really care i like telegram better now um so yeah so like how do you feel about like essentially ending something a guy spent probably three or four come up maybe 400 hours of his life <laughs> building you you essentially yeah. have assassinated a public person he's certainly like what is it almost three times more popular as i am um like that that's a big person you just killed <laughs> how, like how do you even how do you feel about it it's a big thing besides i mean besides besides feeling gratified that i know that this won't this one, like he can't hurt like anyone else anymore uh -huh. really i don't i don't really feel anything to be honest about it i mean mm. maybe maybe it's because like it's an internet matter and yeah. i'm not like you're not trying to insult anyone but i'm not too invested you know in whoa internet <laughs> affairs, I, I didn't expect you know, so. that i would probably be like oh my god i I destroyed this guy who is much <laughs> famous, much bigger than me. I destroyed him just like that, and he's done. Uh, and uh, but uh, you're not as invested in it, uh, which uh, you know. I, I mean, actually, uh, uh, I really, mm -hmm. re really, I just kind of like hope that this this is something that like you know anyone else would do. I yeah. mean, I obviously I do see the like insanity of like the feat I did but to me it's not about like how like I slayed like this mass like this dragon that is like mm -hmm. you know this relatively popular yeah youtuber almost like an e-personality yeah. you could say an e-personality <laughs> yeah I mean I mean I literally I mean he literally has deleted his entire internet yeah like life like his yeah. internet character it's over it's just it's poof. Over. yeah yeah he brought it on himself then he I did get... i mean even mm -hmm. even his closest friends um i'm now in like i'm now in like talks with mm -hmm. uh it, these people he was friends with even before the server they even they have denounced him like they are as shocked as me mm -hmm. like i mean it, it really is like something that I think was just came out of nowhere. I'm just glad, you know, I was able to like catch it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, I, I do respect, uh, your, um, uh, how to say an egotistical altruistic behavior. Uh, I would probably, you know, it's like, um, you getting retweeted by elon musk but instead you're fucking him over basically <laughs> the the same kind of feeling i get it it's just um personally i'm more like you know i have i'm just more grateful that yes i i i mean i don't want to like you know say i am the uh like titan of like morality mm -hmm. you know what i mean or i i am the like moral compass that everyone should like strive to be yeah but i'm glad that at least it was someone like me who could cat who caught it yes and then yes. blew it up yes. instead of 
someone who could have made this something about money or yeah about yeah fame. if you actually offered him to pay you money so you forget i think he would pay you a couple of thousand dollars for sure so oh you yeah could, uh, you you could have been rich but uh you decided to let the world know about this and i mean i think that's uh, something that we should strive towards uh, towards this uh, altruistic behavior as a community and whoever uh, whoever is listening anyways um i suppose that was all unless you want to talk about something else i had i had like one more footnote okay let's just go. like mention mm -hmm. um and it really just came down to like what I said before about his like manipulative behavior. Yes. So I guess during the kind of middle of all of this, the mm -hmm. the time period of where we were kind of at this like sat, we were just at the stalemate sorts where he was trying to talk to me and I was not having any of it. I just wanted him to stay away mm -hmm. from from the girl. Yeah. He on, on multiple occasions, un unfortunately, I, I never saved it. Uh-huh. Um, mm -hmm. he, he mass deleted everything. Oh, uh, okay. After, after a scare, he, he threatened, uh, suicide. Like, well, mm -hmm. uh, like twice, twice on me. He did it in a very, like, cowardly way. Uh, the, the first one is him saying mm -hmm. that, like, if if it was between him going to prison and you know him dying mm -hmm. it would he wouldn't step up he wouldn't stay a day like a day in jail yeah do you think and after uh, mm -hmm. yeah go on go on and then after i tried to kind of test the waters with him i told him you know like you don't have a gun like you're like you're a coward like let, like let's be real this is... well he could roll but suicide I, I is something yeah, I mean, like, so suicide is, like, something that you build, like, months into. You know, it's not, uh -huh. like, some movie thing where you just pull a gun out and well, blow your brains out in front of the cops. Well, let me ask you, know you I mean? a question. What if, if he actually does that? What if he kills himself over the drama that happened? How would you feel then? I mean, I, I couldn't know how I would feel. But um, I guess now... As I think about it, I I wouldn't feel too much sympathy for him, mm -hmm. as this as this is like not something that was that is not something like I am responsible for. He chose this path. When he chose this path, he knew what the possibility, what the consequences would be, of someone mm -hmm. discovering him. You know, I. And, I really don't think that me holding him accountable for his like disgusting actions, mm -hmm. you know, is is something that I could be blamed for. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not something I would blame myself for. I think I'll like I'll still feel sorry, uh, because like oh the... yes, I mean yeah, a life's a mm -hmm. human life, you know. I mean, uh, I get yeah. it. I it's, mean, I, mm -hmm. I, I'd say this. Hey, let me rephrase it. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would regret the like loss of a life. Like, I would regret that this is the path that he chose, that like you know, led to this, his last choice. But yes. I, I wouldn't feel bad about that being the decision he made because of me. Fair enough. I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does. Fair enough. Um. I would probably feel bad about it if he actually does that. Let's hope he doesn't and he faces justice. Uh, and to some degree, he has already faced it. Uh, and he punished himself by deleting his channel uh, instead of, like, lying and being a Vosh about it. He could have pulled the Vosh card and just say that yeah. these allegations are false, but... He actually manned up uh, and uh, deleted his all all of his social media, which which I respect. Uh, but if he was very dishonest, bred to black, he would have one hundred percent pulled a wash card, and uh, I don't think anything would happen, which which was serious, uh, because the people who know about this sorts of stuff would be only people on Discord and. Uh, 
you know, um, probably I wouldn't even know about it. Like the reason I got into this whole situation is because suddenly when I'm at a lecture, I get like two messages from two different people saying, oh, do you remember just the facts? Well, it looks like he was banned from YouTube. And I was like, oh no, another wave of right-wing censorship. What's going on? And then I went on Twitter and, and Telegram and I was made aware of what was going on. So, so I guess yeah. it was a mistake by his part if he really wanted to lie and save his reputation. But, you know, it is what it is. Anyways. Um, you know... Mm -hmm. Yeah? Uh, sorry, so... Um... I just wanted to like end this uh, with like a like note mm -hmm. that he himself. Uh, I don't know what's your. I can I have seen some of your like uh, your views of uh, like Russia and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know uh, the current like you know military operation yeah, that's yeah. going on mm -hmm. with Russia. But um, really, I think like. Uh, just the way he talked about like and how like you know his comments on Russia and like you know his like blatant like I don't know if this is a word you respect but like Russophobia. Wait, and wait, as, wait. Um... Uh, was he Russophobic? Oh yes. Oh yes. So he was Russophobic, but he was saying how Russia was great. Yeah, I mean. He it was something I mean he himself was actually like uh like a Russian Irish um mutt really. Oh but, okay. But but like but the way he talked of Russia, the way he talked of like Russian people, he had like zero interest of being a Russian. Actually I think he like hated himself because he was like Russian. He, yeah. he would call like uh he would call Russians like Asiatic orcs. Whoa. Or, you know, he would post, like, a, like you know, Nazi propaganda, Whoa. you know, depicting, like, Russians. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I don't... You know, the stuff you, you know, obviously, I don't like the military operation. I'm basically with Ukraine. You know, I don't like Putin. But I'm also a Russian nationalist, and uh, I would never do anything like that, but... A guy who is basically taking the Russia side, well, almost taken, or at least is uh, um, near it, uh, basically considers Russians to be subhumans uh, while uh, he's doing the uh, participating in the Z meme culture in some sense of the word. So that that's yeah. very interesting. And he also... Um, uh, role played uh, with the Holocaust thing mm -hmm. and uh, he I don't think he is Jewish <laughs> but th that's you know that that's uh, another thing I guess yeah what a weirdo like really what a fucking weirdo like he I is. didn't know yeah. all this stuff after talking with you like this guy is so much worse whoa so much worse is there anything you want to say uh, and I guess we could end this uh, conversation. Um, you wanted to plug your iFunny account, right? Uh, oh yes. Uh, just what what, is, what to... is it even like? What what is iFunny? I I heard it like a few times. I know it's like something about memes. What is it? Yeah. So um, it's it's really just like a kind of a like it's just like an app from an older time where people. Uh, you know, just post about memes, you know, there's like messages and really it kind of came from that like 2010 style of like apps, you know, like with Tumblr or like old Tumblr, you know what I mean? Uh huh. Before, be before it became all like, you know, cringe, dumb. Oh, uh huh. But um, yeah, it's actually, it's actually a hub of uh, a lot of like right wing communities now. Whoa if you if you go into it like deep enough like you'll find some like pockets so there is no of, censorship like, there yeah. there is no censorship yeah okay I, to, uh, i'll actually tell you this there is well, but it's okay. it's like token it's like token censorship oh, to good. still be allowed on the app store yeah so th so that's like elon musk uh 
ba uh, banning like one right winger per year, which to some extent deserved it, while unbanning like twenty other right wingers. So it's something like that. I like it uh, um, yeah. already. Even so... even better. It's mm -hmm. just like a word sensors that are easy to bypass. Okay. Even better. Yeah, yeah. That so that's an alternative tech platform for you. So um. If you have an iFunny account, uh, you can follow Lunatic Cultist on it, and uh, follow me on uh, YouTube and Twitter and blah blah blah. And uh, I guess thank you for watching and uh, have a nice day.